Welcome to South by Channel where we find small companies with good fundamentals. My screening process covers all sectors in the U.S. market. I cover stocks with market caps between $1 and $10 billion. These stocks don't get enough attention. Giving you a break from constant news feeds about Tesla, Google, and Apple. Let's jump into the stock update for my October stock picks. Month to date the stocks are performing well with 80% of the stocks being up in October. Lagging the IWM by only 1.5% but beating the SPY by nearly 3%. Generally, my horizon is 6 months to a year. I would sell stocks once they have reached 30-50% to 50 gains in that period. All these companies have very decent fundamentals. Ranking them was quite challenging but I applied a simple ranking system to find the top stocks I will be covering today. Pulling data from TradingView I applied the simple rank Excel formula. Then applying it to each fundamental measure. For PE ratio and debt to equity from low to high. The reason for these two being low to high is that I want to find stocks that are cheaper per unit of earnings. For the debt to equity ratio. I am trying to see which companies have healthier balance sheets. The remaining measures are net margin percentage, dividend forward yield, and free cash flow growth percentage. For these three measures, it is a good sign if the values are high. Each company then gets a rank. Then we add the values and the company with the lowest score is my top three. Let's have a look at the performance of RLI, Sky, and Safe. For quick stock analysis, I use Simply Wall Street. The platform provides you with a snowflake that assesses key performance measures for each company. Performance measures are valuation versus share price, dividend payouts, financial health, and future and past growth in earnings. RLI is an insurance company that does business in the property and casualty sector. It has been a tough period for companies in this sector considering the impact of climate change and the frequency of natural disasters. With a P-E ratio of about 10, they compare favorably to peers and the broader industry. The risks shown are they do not pay dividends consistently. As well as analysts believe RLI will have a reduction in profits of 48% over the next three years. Even though profits grew 100% over the last year. The market has been happy with their performance and the share price has grown by 20% in October. Safehold is innovating in the real estate industry buying, owning, managing, and capitalizing ground leases. Another company that has been hit hard in the real estate industry. The snowflake is showing that this company is expected to perform well according to analysts. Discount to valuations is further confirming analysts' earnings growth expectations. With a P-E ratio of 20, they compare well against both the industry and their peers. They are also trading 37% below their baseline fair value. Expectations of analysts are quite high for this stock, but it seems that they have performed well so far. A real risk is their balance sheet. With a debt-to-equity ratio of 160%, investments in their innovative business model might be the reason for such high debt levels. Being in a high interest rate environment also means it makes it more difficult for SAFE to cover its interest payments. A very high risk investment but could return more than the market if they continue to grow earnings. Skyline Champion is a company in the housing market producing and selling factory built housing. The real estate industry is struggling due to increased interest rates. This does not mean that all companies in the real estate industry are affected equally. Looking at their snowflake they have particularly good financial health and past performance. This results in a discount to valuation. With a P-E ratio of approximately 10, they compare well to the industry. Also showing a 29% discount to how simply Wall Street values companies. These valuations are very high level using analysts' estimates of future earnings and applying the necessary discount rate really good base to start your own analysis. There are a few risks with analysts not believing in their growth path. Also, the fact that Sky earnings have a lot of non-cash earnings. About share price, it has been range-bound and can be setting up to break out over the next year. They have also outperformed the broader market in the last year and in the short term. 
with decent margins and an incredibly low debt-to-equity ratio. Sky is very well set up for the next few years. A stock to keep on your watch list. Keep these stocks on your watch list over the coming quarters as they might produce some good financial performances.